of the Rutabaga, a short word from our sponsor. Hi there, friend neighbors. Hope no MRT is going to hear down on my track motorbike. I'll deal for you today. I got cars that are almost new. I tell you, they're almost new. They're driven by one driver. If you don't believe me, you can all come down here and see it. I'll make you a deal like you won't believe. At El Monte, I'm here down on my track motorbike. I'll be in June. Thank you, El Monte. And now, part two. The Rutabaga as an art form. How the hell can you demonstrate a vegetable as an art form on a radio show? Hello and welcome to another episode of PC Classics. I'm your host, Urbara, and tonight I bring you back to the elementary school computer lab, where literally minutes are spent playing boring, mundane games in the correct way. And after those few minutes, when the instructor has gotten bored and begun to read in the corner, the true fun can begin. That is the story of many of these educational PC games, like The Oregon Trail and Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego. It is the same with this week's game, Cross Country USA. The game was originally released in 1988 as a text-based trucking game, and I am playing the 1995 graphic-based version that only differs in that you click on what you want to do rather than type it in. It also has a sister game that came out first called Cross Country Canada. So in the 1988 version, you would type into a command line, Start Truck. In this version, you click on the graphic. And to make sure you lock your vehicle, or else you might get robbed. And no trucker wants to have their load of uranium stolen by some bum with a cart. And yes, uranium is a commodity in the game, and yes, it does get stolen. Cross Country USA is a simple game. Drive around the US, gathering items, and bring them to a single point. The game itself doesn't tell you where the different items you'll be collecting are located, but that is easily solved with a printout. Often, the supplies you are meant to pick up are in the same direction as your final destination. And let's not forget, this is an educational game, so every time you pick up your target cargo, you are given hints to guess what your next one shall be. Thus, you become educated. So let's see, hmm. Parts for light vehicles... Well, it can't be carbon fiber. Hmm... I know! It's aluminum! Oh wait, that's not the game. Well, let's check the sheet. Aircraft parts? How lazy! I mean, I know they exist. But I don't know. It just seems too basic. Or maybe I am too old to consider myself a part of the demographic for this game. Yeah. That's probably it. Oh well. I'm bored of playing this game the right way. Let's see how long I can go without food or sleep. Well... It's been a week. And I haven't slept or eaten a thing. Using the steering wheel as a pillow is hard. Oh my god! No! Damn it! I got into a crash. Gotta call the tow truck. Two hundred dollars? Well, how much money do I have? How do I pay him? Where does the money come from? And here we come to the dumbest aspect of Cross Country USA. There is no penalty for anything. The only thing that happens if you get $4,000 in tickets from driving in Southern California with your chains on at 90 miles an hour is a big number on your expense report. I mean, I guess the teacher is supposed to give you a target goal for whatever scenario is chosen for that day, but you know what? We didn't do that back then, and I ain't doing it now. I mean, really, what am I going to do? Print it out and show it off to some black woman in the hood? Yo, 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 check out my expense report for scenario 10. I only spent $500. Beat that. Ouch. You see, where are you supposed to get gratification from doing well or bad? You just can't. There's also some subliminal message about not picking up hitchhikers because they might be dangerous. But hell, I picked up him, and him, and him, and they all just left happily ever after. 
If they really wanted to teach us not to pick up hitchhikers, they should have them brutally murder us while we're parked on the side of the road sleeping. That will teach me to be nice to people with crazy thumbs. Oh well, I don't really even understand why I'm reviewing this game, as it really barely even qualifies. I know it is for education, but for some reason, I remember Cross Country USA very fondly. But coming back to it, it really isn't very fun at all. Well, it did entertain me for about four hours, but I will never play this again. This is Rubara, signing out.